afternoon, everyone. Um, quickly, I'll go through a prepared statement here that um, outlines the um, the budget. Uh, the Mohawk Council of Ganawagan MCK has finalized the 2016-2017 fiscal year budget of April 1st, 2016 to March 31st, 2017. The new budget was approved unanimously at the at the March 7, 2016 Chief and Council meeting and is $46,282,998. The first draft of the budget projected an operational deficit of approximately $940,000, the lowest it has been in five, in five years. This was a result of a higher than expected United States dollar exchange in reducing administrative costs as well as overhead savings. Uh, the 2016-17 operating expenses are slightly higher than last year, while less money was needed from appropriated reserves. Other important points to consider about the 2016-17 budget, uh, USDA, USD exchange will once again generate non-recurring revenue. Gunnawaga Sports Complex will break even with the additional revenue from the digital billboard. No mortgage interest was allocated to operations, all remained with housing. Operating budget is in better shape than it has been in the past five years. Without new revenue, streams operation deficits will remain. All things considered, we are pleased that we've been able to present a stabilized budget uh, we have to be clear, though, there are still huge challenges that we have to overcome in order to deliver the services that the community needs and has come to expect. With that in mind, we're continuing to explore every conceivable option and opportunity in order to give ourselves much self-sufficiency as possible. We really appreciate the work that our management team and finance department have put into the budgets of the past few years. Uh, Gus Nahawi Sky, who is the lead in finance, administration, and operations committee. These are difficult times financially, but the MCK has made a, every effort to increase efficiency and to stretch every dollar to the limit. Thanks to the staff for their understanding and support, and to the community for its understanding. As Joe pointed out, this is the first time in a couple of years that our operating deficit uh, has been less than a million dollars. Uh, from a percentage basis for the last couple of years, we've been operating at a deficit of about 5% or $2 million. Um, this year, when we did the first draft of the budget, it was less than a million. So operating deficit of about 2.5%. Uh, um, the biggest reason, uh, and it's not recurring revenue, is uh, US dollar exchange. Um, as you saw in the last year or so, the US dollar is appreciated relative to the Canadian dollar. Um, and that gives us a 40% gain uh, whenever or it would have in earlier years now uh, earlier months now it's about 1.3 and we make about three million dollars in US revenue so when you do you know the percentage calculation on that it's it's a pretty significant amount of money uh, for the community unfortunately now it costs more to go travel down to the states but <laughs> for the community's budget it's, it's a good thing because we do make uh, US dollar revenue um, a few things on the expense side our, our social assistance role um, in terms of what it was last year to this year is pretty much the same. Uh, we didn't see significant growth in terms of the overall numbers, so it's, it's kind of plateaued. I don't think that uh, one year doesn't make a trend, so I don't think that that'll continue moving forward, but for, for one year it's good that it's, it's sort of flattened out. Um, you'll notice that we, we've put in a little more money in terms of our, our new construction, our housing program. Uh, that's in line with the, the increase in terms of the borrowing amount uh, individuals are able to borrow at $175,000 this year, so that increases our projections. Um, in capital works, uh, you'll see that there's additional money allocated to, to capital projects uh, more than the previous year. Um, in our lands department, um, and this kind of ties into the, the new federal government, uh, our lands department has been able to obtain quite a bit of new uh, targeted funding, um, and we expect that trend to continue in terms of uh, special uh, funding being made available from the federal government moving forward. Uh, they recently had their budget announcement. We don't know what 
form or shape or type of funding that budget will lead to, but we're already starting to see um, more opportunities for application-based funding coming for our community and we've been accessing those. So that, that shows up in our upcoming budget as well. Um, there was one sort of, uh, I guess, restructuring in terms of the, the public safety and the social development unit. You'll notice that the Ganawagi Labor Office is a new program uh, that was recently uh, approved and put into uh, operation by chief and council in the last fiscal year. So that's a combination of Mohawk self-insurance and some other uh, public safety functions from the previous year. Uh, and generally, um, we've been able to save quite a bit of money through the, the restructuring, uh, through renegotiating contracts, through lowering administrative costs and lowering overhead. Um, and these are a lot of things that haven't really affected our administration, our operations, or our service delivery to the community. It's just, you know, um, good due diligence and, and lowering the, the cost of doing business as much as we can. Um, one example of that is in the, uh, the sports complex. We were able to break even uh, for the first time uh, ever at the sports complex, uh, primarily from the, the new digital billboard that you see along the highway. We've allocated the revenue there um, and also through a restructuring of the, the operation at the sports complex. So what you have here in terms of our budget, um, the total amount is higher, but a lot of those increases are related to non-operational things. So the amount that we lend in housing, the amount that we're investing into capital, those types of things. But the operational budget itself is pretty much at the true cost uh, of operations for the community at the current level of service. So and, uh, I guess that's a quick summary of our, our budget for the upcoming fiscal year.